Hey, hey, hey. It is Sunday night. Time to focus our energy for the week. Talk about what's going on. Talk about the cosmos. Align our energy. And focus for the week ahead. So come on in and join me. Yes, Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. I'm streaming both on Instagram and Facebook. So welcome everyone, welcome. What a crazy summer, what a crazy time. We are in September. Yay, we're going to see lots of shifts in the cosmos. We really are. We're going to see lots of shifts, lots of changes. So we're going to really work with where we are exactly right now. We're in this late summer energy. Many times there are like Chinese medicine and even Native American, even Ayurvedic looks at the late summer as a season practically unto itself. So where are you right now? Where are you right now in this energy? It's a transition period. We really start to bring our energy inward so that we can move and transition out. So where are you right now? Let me know how you're feeling. How's the heat getting to you? We start to move from the element of fire into the earth, into more grounding and more nurturing energy coming forward. So where is that for you? How are you feeling about that right now? I'm gonna share this out. And if you could do the same for me, that would be super great. Just push share onto your newsfeed, I would have so appreciate it. Let me go ahead and share it. I'm sharing it into the Empowered Spirit Circle. If you're not in the circle, come on on and join us, definitely. I posted a really great article. Anybody see that this week about the crystals with Brandon Knight? Great podcast, that's what it was. It was a podcast talking about the crystals. I really haven't seen anybody quite share it, talk about the crystals like that as he did. So I'm gonna go ahead and post it in the Empowered Spirit Circle. There we go. So on the Empowered Spirit Show, I'm actually putting out a survey. So if you do the survey for me, you can receive a meditation to help you move out of this summer energy, to help you move out of this energy, the eclipses, the retrograde. So the meditation is there. All you have to do is fill out the form. Maybe you got an email. I'll put the link there as well. I'll change it on my Instagram as well. And if you leave me a review on iTunes, I will do a reading for you. Yes, I'm trying to grow my show. I'm in a lot of great new uh, formats now. Spotify, iHeart, all your favorite apps. So I'm, I'm asking for that as well. All right, I'm gonna have share it one more. And then I'm going to focus in on what is going on for this week. Hey, Brett, hey, Leanne, how are you? Welcome. We're gonna look at some energy for the week. Let me just finish sharing this. Here we go. All right. All right. So if you do, if you listen to my podcast, I would so love your opinion, your ideas, how you want me to go forward as I move into the fall season. And like I said, I'll share a meditation I made to help you come out of this eclipse energy, retrograde energy, so that you can clear it out and move forward into the fall. We have lots of great energy coming up for the fall, but we can't we can't move through it if we don't clear it out, all right? So definitely check out the link above and you'll find it. So today was really amazing. I went up to Nashville and got together with my soul family up there, did an amazing sweat lodge. It was hot, <laughs> it was intense, and there was a part of me like, can I make it, can I make it? And that's when I remember like, what am I praying for? What is my work right now? And I loved it, it was really great. I did make it through and got to jump in the water and once you get your head under, you just go, woo. But it was intense and it's like matching the energy of what we've all been through all right matching that energy of this summer it has been intense it's been hot it's been pushing on all of us all of our old not all of us but a lot of us our past our old history is coming up and we're having to look at it and see what's going on and then all that retrograde planet is pushing us further deeper and the eclipse energy is shifting so now we've closed the door on the eclipse energy. We're starting to pull out of the retrogrades. Mercury went direct, Mars went direct last week. We're gonna see Saturn going direct this week and other planets as well. And as we do this, we're gonna still be kind of pushing. This week is all about perseverance. How can you persevere and work through the work this week? It's really important. So you're gonna feel that desire to get things done, to get organized, kind of like that September energy, right? Back to school energy. Get going, sharpen your pencils. But don't push too hard. Perseverance is the key. Slow, steady force of energy as you work through this week. All right. Tomorrow even, most of us have off. Maybe tomorrow you can do a little bit of um, 
organizing, getting your work out there, that kind of thing. And then as you move through the middle of the week, you may have to just kind of careful because that Saturn energy is going to be coming. It's going to be opening up to a little bit of that responsibility and feeling like you've taken on too much. So if you push through and you don't use your energy wisely, you're going to be burnt. All right. So as you go through this week, remember, slow, steady, perseverance. We also have the balsamic moon, which is the dark of the moon that comes towards the end of the weekend. So that could be a feeling of isolation, loneliness, feeling the dark part of you coming forward until we move into that new moon on Sunday. So we are in a transition period. We are in this transition from late summer into the fall, and we're all going to feel it this week. September has some really great aspects coming up. I'm very happy about that as well. We're going to find ourselves dropping more into the heart, which is what we're going to do our meditation about tonight. And we're going to be able to really release a lot of that struggle from this summer. All right. Let me know if you had a hard summer. All right. Give me a thumbs up or let me know. Tell me below if you have noticed some of that energy that you've been working on and moving out. All right. Give me a moving out if that's what you've been doing. I know for myself, lots of healing, lots of looking at my own stuff. All right. Today in the medicine wheel, in the um, sweat lodge, it really was about just leave it here, let it go, sweat it out. And now it's like, here we go. We're going to have a great new beginning coming up in September. And that's what we're going to be working through this week, especially as we move to this last part of the cycle and open up Sunday for that new moon energy. So what is it for you? Let me know below how you've been doing. All right. So the meditation that we're going to really kind of work on today is going to be centering our energy and bringing the focus into the heart and then just kind of opening that energy out from the heart. And when we do that, we drop out of the ego. We drop out of the judgment. We let go of all of that chatter. And we just kind of really open up the heart, open up the energy ahead of us to really love, unconditional love, finding that part of you to be able to communicate, to open up to people in a different aspect. We've had a lot of fire from the summer, a lot of anger forced on, a lot of stuff thrown that wasn't even necessarily, maybe it wasn't your energy that was thrown at you and you took it in. And then you in turn, Threw it at somebody else, right? That happens a lot. Sometimes it's so much easier to throw energy on other people rather than work through it. So that's a lot of what is going on right now. And as we move out of, as we move out of the summer, we move out of the fire element into earth. All right. So we're starting to calm the fires, starting to reach into that rich, nurturing soil of the earth. We'll start into the harvest and fall. Right. So right now we just kind of have to work through that energy to get there. All right. All right, Patrick, good for you. Yay. So let's just take a moment, center energy, and see what it feels like to drop into that heart energy. All right. Take a deep inhale. Oh, and just exhale out. The sound of the heart is. Oh. Take another deep inhale. And exhale. Take a moment. Call back your energy from the week. Call back all those many parts that we scatter with all of the people we come into contact with. So just call it back and exhale. Send the XX energy down the body, deep into the earth. Take a moment to ground your energy. Another deep inhale. And exhale. Send it all the way down, deep into the earth. As you feel your energy coming back, right into the very center. Take another deep inhale. And exhale. Continue that breath up the spine as we open up and call in our masters, our teachers, the archangels. Call in your spirit guides to work with you and through you to guide you through this week. Take a deep inhale. Take a moment and just notice how you feel right here in this late summer. Notice how you feel as we honor this crossroads of where we are. Moving into a new season very shortly, right on the edge we stand. We start to notice our summer. We honor all the many things that we've been through. Take another deep inhale and exhale away. Direction of the south is where we sit in this season. And we open up to what is ahead of us in the west for fall, the north to east above us, below us, right into the very center. All the directions above and below and right within. Feel yourself grounding in this energy and begin to drop the awareness right into the heart. Just feel the heart energy 
And on your next inhale, open up from the heart, horizontally breathing. And as you exhale, pull the energy back through the heart, send it back behind. Feel that heart energy opening up the breath. And exhale, send it back. That's the times we go vertical. Tonight we're doing the horizontal, from the heart out. And then just exhale back. So as you go through and have interactions with people, open the heart. Drop the judgment, drop the ego, and just exhale in and out through the heart. This is going to help you move through this week. Perseverance, slow and steady, focused energy from the heart. Coming back, pull the energy back. And just take a moment or two again, coming into the heart. Let the breath continue. You slow down. Just notice what your intentions are as we open up to this new month, sending them out for the heart. And exhale back. Inhaling and exhale. Bring the awareness back. Notice the calm. Notice the centering. Notice that you can come back to this at any time and work on this breath for you as you move through this week. Bring in the awareness back, opening the eyes, coming back. As we look to the cards, I have one stuck here. All right, so I love it because there's been different poses, oh, amazing summer, good energy, good summer. I think it really kind of just depends on what you're working with, where these cosmos are hitting you and the vibrations, and sometimes for others it's harder than it is for others, right? And so we just keep continually working through our own stuff as we move through these seasons and notice what we notice, right? Just because things are hard, does it make it bad? No, it doesn't. It just, we offer gratitude and we uncover what it is that we're working with and need to do. All right, so yay, a couple of good energy, good summer, amazing summer. All right, excellent. So we're gonna look at how we can move through this week with the energy of the cards. So I'm working with the shaman cards. I love it, perfect for where I was today in the medicine wheel. Really nice, really hot, elements were intense. So the first one that we drew, which is universal for all of us, which is a really good card for this month, is called the arrow. All right, so the arrow is about a mark, right? When we shoot the arrow, we hit our mark. So this is about being really aware as you move through this week where that mark is for you. What are you aiming for? What are you shooting for? This is also about creative energy coming forward. Look at the alignment all the way to the point. So generally when we throw an arrow, we're working for our mark. So really this card is an invitation to notice where is that mark for you? Where is it coming forward as you set out new intentions and open up to that energy, all right? So that's for all of us. Now, if you chose one, two, or three, this is kind of how you're gonna work through it to get there. Hey, Thelma, hey, everybody, yeah. So if you chose one, one is about the journey, but it is reversed, all right? So there is some medicine with this. So generally when we talk about the journey, we talk about it as being that day-to-day, -day, is moving through it. It's not the destination, it's working through it, all right? So sometimes we have to go beyond the box. We have to really open up and really be understanding with where we are, and that's kind of what it is when it's in that reverse position, all right? It's asking us to look at that journey. Are we pushing too hard? Are we wanting too much? Are we forgetting that it is the day-to-day, -day, that it is the interactions, that's how we connect with each other that make that journey? All right, so just really kind of start to slow down, slow and steady, that really ties in with that. And I also think it ties in with the arrow. If we're moving too hard and pushing too hard, we're gonna miss the mark. So slowing down, remembering it's the day to day, all of these interactions we have with each other, that is what the journey is about. And that's the medicine it offers you. All right, if you chose card two, which is kind of interesting because perfect alignment, it's fire, but it is reversed, all right? So this also is offering us the opportunity to kind of look at it. Have you been pushing too hard? Has your energy been too much fire? Have you been in interactions with people? So this is the opportunity to start taming this energy down, especially as we move through the late summer. So notice your interactions, notice your words. Are you pushing energy out? Kind of like we were talking about before on other people that's not really theirs. It is time to start pulling our energy in. That's what we start to do in, in the fall winter all the way in but we start to bring it back in right we rein that energy in the days are getting shorter 
All right, lots of hearts here. Thank you. So just know how you can start to. The medicine is to look hard to get on there. My connection just shifted. All right, it didn't like that, but that's what it is. All right, and that is exactly what the late summer is. And then the third card, I love it because this is the energy of September, is the beloved. All right, this is right side up. So this is really just offering that energy of the heart, exactly what we were doing, right? Exactly on opening up. And I love the fact that the cosmos are shipping, shifting for September. And all the transits that are coming around, there's a big transit coming in that is going to help us drop into the heart. So where is that beloved connection for you? Where can you find that beloved connection with other people as well? Look at that, the two hands, the hearts, the alignment. Where can you open up even more? Today in the sweat lodge, we were asked to focus on one thing, one thing, and I chose love. Receiving love, giving love, being love. So I love that that has come forward. I think when we choose love, we can get into a higher vibration and we can accept people for where they are, right? So that was a beautiful, really, confirmation of that energy as well. So just to do a little review, <laughs> The arrow being that first card that is for all of us. Look for that mark for you. Set new visions, all right? This is exactly where we are. I said to my daughter the other day, I need a new vision board. I need a new vision board. What about you? Do you need a new vision board as well? Set a new vision and be aware of that mark. What is that moment when you recognize what that new vision is for you? I love that thought, right? And then the journey. Slow down. Perseverance this week. All right, day by day. Look at him, I love it. Beautiful, look at all that energy. The hands, Reiki, just for today. The owl, the wisdom. And being that it's reversed, it's just the medicine is to slow down. To remember that it is the day by day. It's not the destination, all right? Kind of like the road to Hana. It's like, that's the main thing. If you chose the second card, the fire. Time to start reeling that fire in. Notice your interactions. That's that Mars energy. It has gone direct, all right? So it's time to really kind of Turn it down a little bit, cool it off, ground the energy into Mother Earth because we are shifting into the elements of the Earth. And then the third card is the beloved. Open your heart to your connections, to all those around you, and this is going to help you with that mark of your new vision and what it is that your purpose is here and driven by spirit, what it is you can do, opening that heart. That breath is perfect for the heart, it really is. All right, let me know how that settles for you. Let me know if you have any questions. You just notice too, kyanite, great stone for perseverance. Kyanite will really help you work through this week, stay strong, stay focused, a really great stone to wear. And again, in the Empowered Spirit Circle, if you didn't listen to that podcast with Brandon Knight, really good podcast on crystals, really good understanding on how and why they interact with us. Check it out, it's in the circle for sure. All right, let me know if you have questions. If anybody wants to have a card picked. Yeah, oops, reaching through. So there is no show in the Empowered Spirit um, show this week. I'm regrouping, redoing my um, series, looking for the fall. So I have gotten some, um, some of them back. So definitely leave me, um, leave me uh, hit the link, fill out this survey is what I'm trying to say. And I will in turn send you a meditation. And if you leave me a review, I will do a reading for you. Yes, I will do a reading. All right, Thelma and Leanne, I see you two asking. So please do, the link is in the bio there. And on Instagram, I will definitely add it in the bio as well. All right, Thelma, many paths. So this is an opportunity for you to use that arrow energy and choose which of those many paths are you walking through now? And are you trying to do many, too many? They all do go to the same point. So maybe, you know, let that energy open up to what it is that path is for you. Look how they're all going up. There are many paths that lead to the same place. What are the paths for you right now to help you get to that? And maybe let go of some of that struggle on what to do, what to do. I don't know if you've had any indecisions, but that's kind of what's coming forward is to open up to the path that leads all to one. All right. Really nice card for that. All right. Let's see. Hey, David. All right, Millie. Let's see. Leanne, then Millie. And then over here, Martinez. Wild woman. All right. Wild woman. Leanne, this is for you. This has been one of my most favorite cards all summer. This is to open up that part of you that wants to come forward, that creative energy. Be wild, get out there, do something that you've been wanting to do. It's not too late, we still have a couple of weeks of summer. This was this card of the summer. So definitely, Ann, this is for you. Take a chance, all right? Does that make sense? Yay. All right, let's see. 
All right, 89 Martinez. Here we go. This one is for you. The rattle. Make some noise. Time to attract some energy around you. All right, the rattles are really pretty. They bring in spirit. All right, so this will help you to wake it up, shake up the energy, bring in the spirit. The rattle is a great way to connect with rhythm, with sound, with the vibration of raising it up a little bit for you. All right, so if you need a little help in connecting to your guides or anything, do a little rattle. Get that energy out there for you to help you open up. We were using the rattle tonight in the lodge, and it just calls in the spirit, and it shakes it up, and it helps you to access that energy for you. All right, does that help you? Does that make sense? Let me know. Give me a thumbs up if it does. All right, find a sacred object. Open up to the energy that our sacred objects can buy us. I love the idea of the rattle too because of the sound, right? That's the bowl, but a rattle shakes it up. All right, David, I think you had asked for a card as well. Give me a thumbs up on that one. All right. So David, this is the staff. This is about standing tall, all right? This is about using that energy that is a support for you and your life. It almost looks like a giraffe in there. It looks like definitely an animal face, right? It's tall, it's long, it's helping you to find that path that is needed, don't give up. Just like kind of like re-establish re, re that path for you right now and get the support that you need. Sometimes when we use a staff, it's like that walking support that we need to hold on to and open up to. All right, so find that support for you. Stand a little taller, use the support. Don't feel like you have to always do things alone, all right? This is reminding you of that energy that comes forward. Strong, can't see what's on the bottom there. Look at the animal there. Look at the inside of the eyes opening up, the horns. It almost looks like a giraffe, but a skull. I don't know, that's interesting. But the staff, as you know too, right? It is a support in life. It is a way to mark our steps. It is a way to help us move forward with what we're doing. So be sure to do that as well. Give me a thumbs up if that was helpful. All right, thank you, needed it, blessings. All right, who else? Let's see where we are, many thanks. Thank you, all right, Leanne, I wanna see you coming out. All right, David, how about that for you? All right, Patrick, I didn't do one for you. How does that relate, David? All right, Patrick, the gatherer. All right, this is a time to start gathering. You've harvest. You've had a great summer. All right, isn't that beautiful? All that gathering, we're moving into the season of harvest, right? So it's time to you start gathering all of that efforts that you've put out there, really collecting it, offering that gratitude, harvesting your work. Really, it's in a very abundant card for you coming forward. I love it because you've been talking what a great summer. This is a great time to really harness that energy as well. Definitely. Look at all that. Look at all that abundance up there. All right, Patrick, I want to see you do that as well. Definitely. All right. All right. We got a thank you. We got some hearts. Amazingly helpful. Excellent. Yay. All right. So we do have some great energy moving forward this week. Take some perseverance. Pull your energy in. Know the middle of the week is going to get a little intense. You're going to want to feel like you may feel like you have too many responsibilities. You can't think everything done. That's when we slow down. That's when you work with the heart. We move through the balsamic moon, Thursday, Friday. Friday, Saturday is more of that dark of the moon. So careful, don't get yourself isolated. Don't pull too much inward, but let that darkness open up. Offer gratitude for it, and then we have right into the new moon on Sunday, which will be next time this week, and we'll talk about that new moon energy then. Know that there is big shifts coming. Know that the summer is, is really letting go and letting it move out of you. Don't hold on to the eclipse energy. Don't hold on to the retrograde. Fill out that survey. You'll get a meditation from me. All right, guys, I'm really excited about that. I will be at Forma downtown, 12 o'clock in the Birmingham area. If you want to come meditate with us in downtown Birmingham, I move the day till Thursday, all right? As usual, you can find me at Birmingham Yoga on Wednesday nights, a new series starting for the late summer into fall, Ayurvedic Tips, Yoga poses to help us really prepare for the new season. We must do that. We can't keep doing the same old, same old. Shift in seasons help us to move forward with what we're doing. All right, thanks for watching so much. I appreciate you guys being here. It's great to offer this energy out there. If I missed anybody, just post. Otherwise, I will see you guys sometime during the middle of the week. I've been doing some yikes, inspirations. And then I'll see you, of course, next weekend. All right, to your spirit. Namaste. Thank you.